Amen. Let's just apart to house of the Lord as we sing this song. Blessed be the name of the Lord. You have what needs to be praised and adored. Hallelujah. So we lift up holy hands to one Father, we thank you for a time like this. And we praise your holy name for the mightiness of your name. And for your name which is above all names. Thank you because we can see your handwriting upon our lives. And thank you for your people that you have brought here to this meeting. Accept our thanks in Jesus' name. Father, I pray. And as many people are saying, this particular edition of prayer rate, I decree that their lives will no longer remain the same. Open our understanding, O Lord. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Let's have a say God bless you. And to those of you that the Lord has brought here this morning, I'm convinced in my spirit that you are not here by chance. God brought you here for a special purpose. We have a serious and dangerous assignment to do at this particular edition of prayer in. Therefore, I need 100% of your attention here right now so that you know how to pray when the time comes. Because what we want to tackle here today is of concern to everybody. And we're here for that serious business. Bow down your heads. Tell the Lord that when at others thou art calling, do not pass me by. Talk to the Lord yourself now. When at others thou art calling, do not pass me by. Amen. The mystery of evil patterns. The mystery of evil patterns. I encourage you to listen carefully so you understand how to pray when the time comes. In Second Samuel chapter 3, 
Second Samuel chapter 3, I read verse 28. Second Samuel 3, 28 and 29. Are we there? If you are not there, say wait for me, we shall wait. Second Samuel 3, 28, 29. And afterwards, when David had it, he said, I and my kingdom are guiltless before the Lord forever from the blood of Abner, the son of Nah. He now says something. Let it rest on the head of Joab and all his father's house. I pray for somebody here that if there is any blood crying against your family house, if there is any blood crying against your father's house and your mother's house, let the blood of Jesus silence them now in the name of Jesus. Let your amen rule like thunder. Here was a curse on the head of Joab. So let it rest on the head of Joab and all his father's house. And let there not fail from the house of Joab one that hath an issue or that is a leper or that leaneth on the staff or that falleth on the sword or that lacketh bread. What is serious matter? Say in the house of Joab there must always be somebody who will have issue. Issue of blood or gonorrhea or menstrual problems or that is a leper. Or someone that leaneth on the staff with a broken leg or limb. Or someone that falleth on the sword or that lacketh bread. That is in that family there must always be somebody that will fall into these evil categories. What is a pattern? A pattern is an order or an arrangement. A pattern is a design. There is a rule in the spirit world. All lives are patterned after something. But when there is an evil pattern in place, there is a serious problem indeed. In deliverance, ministers sometimes try to help to probe in, into other people's problems. To see whether there is a trend in the person's family, the trend of a problem in the person's lineage or family. An occurrence of the same problem in a person's lineage is usually taken as a root of problems. For example, you could see a, a family where the firstborns never live beyond 40. You could see a family where people never get married. I was in London. A young man came for prayer. As when he came, he was 36 years old. He had divorced seven times. At 36, he had divorced seven times. 36 year old man. And I began to ask questions. How many of you are in your family? Say three boys and two girls. How many of them are married? None. Everyone who tried failed a pattern. In some families, there will always be one insane person there at one point or another. So one way or the other, there is this pattern, a reoccurrence of the same problem. Most of this reoccurring pattern of problem is based on a curse. I want to pray for somebody here this morning that the pattern of darkness in your father's house that has made you to remain on the same spot, let that pattern be broken now in the name of Jesus. Let it be broken. 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 In the name of Jesus. The passage we have read now introduces a strange dimension to evil patterns. That is, the problem that is reoccurring in a particular place may wear a mask to confuse people. If you look at it on the surface, it will appear as if there is no pattern. The problems may even look unrelated. But on careful observation, you find that it's a confusing pattern emanating from the same source. It was this curse of convulsing patterns that David pronounced on the lineage of Joab for killing Abner. The same tree of a curse was to have different branches, to bear different fruits. 
fruit of issue, cancer, leprosy, violent death, and so on and so forth. That is, if somebody is from the lineage of Joab now, these patterns may be noticed. If there is war or a light trading exercise by the military, it will be the son, grandson, or great grandson of Joab that will die first. It will be a candidate of stray bullet. If there is a small wound in the leg of somebody from the household of Joab, it will lead to a wound that cannot be treated and may be lead to death. The daughter of Joab, just going for an ordinary tooth extraction, a simple operation, and to lead to complication or death. Children of Joab may be the constant victims of robbers. Although they have nothing that any thief would desire, they will be the victim of accidental discharge of unknown soldiers. If there is plenty of people living in a place, and an infection is supposed to catch somebody, it is the household of Joab. Somebody from the household of Joab that will be caught. The pattern becomes a situation where somebody says, oh, what was wrong with this family? If not death, it is sickness. If not sickness, it is failure. If not failure, it is marital disgrace. If you are struggling to be cutting off the individual branches, you will be wasting your time. You need to get to the root of the matter and cut it off. The purpose for which we are here this morning is to destroy any negative pattern. Right there where you are sitting now, I want you to look at your life. What is it pattern after? Do you observe any evil pattern in your family? As small boys in those days, looking back now, I felt that those who were our leaders then were not very kind to us at all. As small, small, small boys in the choir, when they were going to bury people in the cemetery, who would be the ones that they were arranged at the front. The pastors would be coming behind us, be singing into the cemetery. Some of us in the process, we put our leg into open grave. You say, blood of Jesus, and we draw your leg and go inside. It was at one of these burial ceremonies. Our pastor was there burying this person. And she said, this woman has gone to heaven. We thank God for her life. During her lifetime, she has children for seven different husbands. Two, two per husband, making 14. She has lived a good life. She has gone to heaven. But as of the time she was being buried, none of the seven husbands were at the burial ground. That was many years ago. Recently now, I see our own daughters jumping from men to men. Men to men. They don't know that I know their mother. These are the patterns. Look at yourself very well. Do you observe any evil pattern in your family? Are there some patterns of lying or coloring the truth? A pattern of getting what you want at all costs, no matter who is offended? Is there a pattern of anger? Is there a pattern of marital failure? Is there a pattern of some infirmity? Is there a pattern of people in that family too young to have children, but they will have it? Is there a pattern of having no one to marry? Is there a pattern of lesbianism? Is there a pattern of sexual impurity? Is there a pattern of adultery? Is there a pattern of Jezebel spirits? Is there a pattern of depression and insanity? Is there a pattern of bad habits? Is there a pattern of unforgiveness inside the family? Is there a pattern of argumentative spirit? Is there a pattern of bitterness? Is there a pattern of careless indifference? Is there a pattern of gossip? A pattern of confusion? A pattern of people always telling lies against you, telling lies against you? Is there a pattern of you getting to a place people like you to start with, after some time they hate you with uniformity? Is there a pattern of friends abandoning you at your hour of need? Is there a pattern of people repaying you evil with all the good you've done? Is there a pattern of financial failure? Is there a pattern of hard times and poverty? Is there a pattern of laziness? Is there a pattern of idol worship? Is there a pattern of horrible dreams? Is there a pattern of worry? Is there a pattern of wasted childhood? Is there a pattern of satanic discipline? The enemy trying to discipline you. The enemy trying to arrest you. The enemy trying to cause trouble for you. Of all 
evil patterns the most stubborn and the most horrible to deal with is the inherited evil patterns if you are here in this meeting and already now you are finding it so hard to locate your destiny if you are here you are finding that as you move from place to place something is telling you you are not in your place of blessing or you are here any effort you put in into life it's as if you didn't put in any effort at all and then quietly in a hidden way you see some pattern of evil playing out in your life then get yourself ready what do we do when things are like this the first thing is to repent from all known sins and become a friend of God the second thing is to do a spiritual mapping of your life and of your family life know where the problem is coming from the third thing is to wage war against these evil patterns and the fourth thing is to barricade your life so that these patterns do not come back to you this is the warfare we are here to wage today the warfare we are here to wage at this prayer session because it is important that we do not carry over anything bad into the following year it is important that all the arrows of affliction should go back to where they are coming from and that the affliction never rises again this is why we are here we have few minutes to pray some strong and strange prayers within those few minutes anything can happen here so I require that you pray with concentration with fire with power because what you may, what you may be battling now may date back 1000 years 600 years 600 years 200 years so it's not an assignment for a gentleman right from the days of John the Baptist until now the Bible said the kingdom of heaven will suffer violence and the violent take it by force rise up on your feet now everybody rise up on your feet but there is no way you are going to deal with any evil pattern if you have not just surrendered your life to Jesus so if you are here in this meeting you say pastor I understand what you are saying I want to break this evil pattern it is important to surrender your life to Jesus so wherever you are I'm only going to count 10 if you want to surrender your life to Jesus to break this evil pattern find a way to the altar here if you don't get here before 10 I assume that you do not wish to surrender your life to Jesus today because we don't have time we want to go and pray 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 hurry up Jesus is waiting for you here 9 I have this If you are at the front, I congratulate you. Bow down your heads. Say what I'm going to say after me. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you now. Lord Jesus, come into my life. Take control of my life. As from today, I say bye-bye to the devil. I enter into the kingdom of light. In Jesus' name, amen. I'm going to pray with you now. Father, I thank you for this, your children. They've taken the most important decision in life. Father, keep them standing by your power. Lay your hands upon their lives. In Jesus' name. Amen. Open your eyes and look at me here. You've taken the most important decision in life. 
Just follow this pastor for one or two minutes. Then you can come back to us later. Jesus will bless you mightily as you do so. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. The rest of us, while we are remaining in our seats, just keep your eyes closed. Bow down your heads. You talk to the Lord yourself. Now, Father, any sin in my life that will retain any evil pattern in my life, forgive me now, O oh Lord. Talk to the Lord yourself. eyes closed. If you are in this meeting this morning, in the family where you come from, marriages never work. Find a way to this altar and be on your knees. Pray the way you have never prayed before. This is not a day to joke. This is not a day to keep quiet. This is not a day you just be looking at other people pray. This is the day of enough is enough. Enough is enough. You will raise up your voices like fire and like thunder. Everybody will shout this loud and clear. Let your voice be louder than the voice of the person next to you. Please, I beg you, this is not a day to joke here. Say, every problem attached to my family name. Can I hear you shouting this loud and clear? Is that the loudest you can shout this important prayer? Yeah! In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and begin to declare it. Yes, every pattern of darkness break, 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 break. The sepoka tende ke yabo shanda rabakanta. The ribo sepola ke yabo koshente rabasanta. Bana kapola katanda katara bo sepola ke yabo shanta. Ribo seponde ke yabo shanta. Open your mouth, open your mouth. In Jesus' name we pray. Let there be silence now. Silence now, beloved. As many people as are here today, and they worship snakes in your family land, I command the serpent that has been programmed into your body to receive the fire of God now. And for the serpent to come out. 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 In the name of Jesus. Yes. Let it go. Yes. Release her. Release her waist. 
They need a womb. They need a breast. Yes, that was the power of God coming upon you. Father, I pray for your children near the front. Every evil marital pattern concerning anyone here at the altar here, let the pattern be broken in the name of Jesus. Let it be broken. 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 In the name of Jesus. Anyone here who has been married off in the spirit realm to strange spirit husband, strange spirit wife. Anyone here whose family house has a family spirit husband or a family spirit wife right there where you are I divorce you from those powers right now in the name of Jesus receive your deliverance 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 receive it 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 in the name of Jesus Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. You may go back to your seat rejoicing now. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. An important yoke has been broken in your life today. Thank you, Jesus. Say, every satanic dream concerning my life. Can you shout that loud and loud? Scatter in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and scatter the dreams of the enemy. In Jesus' name we pray. As many people as are here today, and you notice a pattern of poverty in your family line, raise up your right hand to the heavenlies. Raise it up to the heavenlies. And declare this louder than anyone around you. This prayer is a command. This prayer is a proclamation. Say this loud and clear. Inherited patterns of poverty. Break! In the name of Jesus. Something is happening already. Open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth. In Jesus' name we pray. Stretch that right hand towards heavens. Don't drop it yet. Aha. An angel of God is going around this place and is dropping off course of fire on every hand stretch upwards. Aha. Yes. That's number one. Number two. Number three. Number four. Number five. Six. Number seven. Number eight. Number nine. Number ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen. Twenty. Twenty-one. Twenty-three. Twenty-four. Twenty-five. Twenty-six. Twenty-seven. Twenty-eight. Twenty-nine. Thirty. That's the fire. That's the fire. Put that hand upon your head now. And keep it there and keep quiet. And see what happens. Yes. That fire is uprooting. Every agenda of poverty. And every part that has been stealing your finances. They must let you go now. 
Thank you, Jesus. You may remove your arm from your head now. This short prayer you have prayed now has resulted in many people here today being ushered into financial breakthrough. As you pray this next prayer, if you are in this meeting today and you notice a pattern of untimely death in your family, find a way quickly to this altar and be on your knees. Everybody shout this loud and clear. Make sure your voice is louder than the voice of anyone next to you. This is a strong prayer indeed. Can you shout this loud and clear? Satanic pattern of my father's heart. You are a liar. In the name of Jesus. Thou pattern of darkness. Break now. Break. 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 In Jesus name we pray. Father I'm praying for your children at the altar here. That every pattern of the spirit of death and hell in your father's house, I break it and I cancel it now. In the name of Jesus. Every rage of the spirit of death, I cancel it now. 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 In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. You may go back to your seat rejoicing now. That pattern has been cancelled completely. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. There is somebody here. By this time next Friday, all the problems the enemy has been bringing away for the past 10 years will have become a testimony. I saw someone here. You have been hearing strange voices. Those voices of insanity have gone back to the senders in the name of Jesus. That's right. There are seven persons here suffering under an intensive curse issued by a native doctor. Right there where you are. Those seven persons, the hand of the Lord is upon you. And the yoke of this curse is broken completely. That's number one. Number two. Number three. Number four. Number five. Number six. And that's number seven. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Say, powers! Assigned to make me fail. Can I hear the sister saying this? Brothers, can I hear you running like thunder? Can I hear everybody shouting this loud again? Let your voice roar like thunder. Die! In the name of Jesus. 